Hey guys, so today what I want to do is I want to work on two separate things. I want to first start with something that's a little bit more mindset oriented, a little bit more focused on making sure that you have a path and that you know where you're going on that path and that you're experiencing success along the way. I recently went to go listen to Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank, and he said some really important things, and I want to share those with you. Now, the second half of the video, we are going to be looking at actual email marketing, because next week, Adrian is releasing some email marketing templates, a newsletter that you can send out to your entire list. But before we get into that, I want to talk first about the things that Kevin O'Leary said, because they really resonated with me. And I think it's important for everyone in the brokerage, all of you, to understand this principle. So he commissioned a study where he was looking at what makes his businesses successful. So he has 150 companies under his hedge fund, and he looked at which ones are successful, which ones are not, and what characteristics, what are the successful ones doing that the others aren't. And there was one thing that he kept coming back up on and coming back up on and coming back up on. And it really directly connects to this other idea by Dave Ramsey, which he calls the debt snowball. Now, if you're not a follower of Dave Ramsey and you've never read his stuff or heard his stuff, it's really phenomenal. You should. But basically, he hates debt. He doesn't believe you should be in debt at all, period. And the way that the debt snowball works is that he has you list all of your debts from smallest to biggest. And then you start to pay off the smallest one first. So you put minimum payments against everything and you put all of your extra cash towards the smallest one. Now, inevitably, the first thing people say is, well, that's very counterintuitive. It, it, why wouldn't you pay down the debt with the highest interest rate first? That's what makes the most logical sense. Pay down the debt with the highest interest rate. But he says, no, pay off the debt with the smallest balance first. And so they actually did a psychological study because people are really successful with the debt snowball. People really change their lives and they pay off their debt in a very short amount of time utilizing the debt snowball. Yet, while people try to use the logical method and they try to, to create a plan for I'm going to pay off the one with the highest interest first, it never seems to work. So what's the difference here? Well, it goes back to what Kevin O'Leary was saying about what makes his most successful businesses very, very successful. It has to deal with the fact that along the way, you are experiencing multiple small wins. So you pay off that little debt. Yes, I finally paid one off. Then you pay off the next one. Yes, I finally paid one off. And what Kevin O'Leary found was that the companies that were setting realistic goals small achievable goals so that they could have a win. Yes, I did that. Now what do I do next? What's the bigger thing? They tended to do a lot better than the companies who set massively large goals, but then were unable to achieve them. And so what I'd like for you to do right now is I'd like for you to focus on the following things. I'd like for you to focus on new agreements, Clients converted to contracts. So these are people you already had agreements with and you're converting them into an actual contract. So I'm showing someone houses or I have a listing and I don't have a contract on it yet. And then your actual closing numbers. I want you to set small achievable goals for the next week so that you can have small wins so that you can say, I got some new agreements. This is how many I got. Don't set a goal of 10 for yourself right now. Build up over time. Set a goal of 
one for next week, maybe one the week after that, maybe one the week after that or two the week after that. But set a goal that's going to work for you personally, a goal that you can actually achieve. Because those small wins will help you change your mentality. They will help change fundamentally who you are and how you think as a person and allow you to get more of the big wins over time. We're using the law of accelerating returns. We're making sure that you're building off of what you're doing. We're not trying to get swollen in the gym in one day. We're trying to do it little pieces at a time in achievable chunks. So I'd like for you to pause the video for a second. Before you go into the email marketing, take five or 10 minutes and from this week to next week, set these goals for yourself. Closings, you should already know which closings are coming up. Set your goal for what you're going to close next week. Clients converted to contracts. Who can I realistically convert from this week to next week that is already a client and I can get under contract? And then for new agreements, I need to go talk with people and I need to make them clients. How many can I get? Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? It doesn't matter what that number is. Set a realistic goal for yourself. Even if that number is one, that's okay. This is the, the success snowball. It's the debt snowball version of success. We're going to do this in small achievable chunks to keep you motivated, to keep you excited, and to keep you wanting to come back to real estate. So take 10 minutes or five minutes, however long it takes you in your office, pause the video and work on this right now. All right, so now that you've worked on your goals, I want to take a look at your sink. So everyone needs to get out their sink. And what I want to do is I want to remind everyone how to use email templates because starting next week, Adrian is going to be releasing for us an email template that we can utilize. It's going to be a, a very much a newsletter style email template that we can utilize. And I want to make sure that every one of you already knows how to make this happen. So the first thing you're going to do is over here on the left hand side, you're going to scroll down to this tab that says communications. Now I'm sure some of you have never even looked at this tab. You like to send individual emails, but at some point your business is going to get so big, you need to automate some portion of it. And if you can automate automatic follow-up emails, automatic reach out emails, whatever you can do to make your life easier, make you a more successful agent, you need to do it. So let's take a look at that right now. Click on that communication section. And over here on the left-hand side, you're going to see it says inbox, start, sent, drafts, trash. This is all my Gmail stuff. These are all things from Gmail. I can also look at my Gmail inbox directly here if I've already synced it. But that's not what I want to look at right now. You see it's showing everything here from my Gmail. What I want to look at right now is under my communication. So I'm going to click on communications again. I want to relaunch that communications tab. I want to look at this section here that says templates. So go ahead and click on that section that says templates. Now templates are pre-prepared emails that you can come in here, you can utilize and send out to your clients. Campaigns is where you can create multiple emails to be sent out. So I want an email to go out once a month, every two weeks, however that is, those are campaigns. We'll look at campaigns here two weeks from now. Today, we're going to look at templates because what we're going to create first is a newsletter template that you can utilize for your company. So what we want to do in here is we want to look at this share templates. Now, these are templates that have been created by, and it shows you who it's been created by, and it's been shared for use between the entire brokerage. Now, you can come in here, pick the templates that you like, and then you can actually make copies. Sync also has multiple templates that you can utilize here to send out to your clients. So let's say, for example, you want to send out a, a text to all your clients that you dropped the ball and this says cold lead on it. Well, you can do that. Uh, you, want to, you want to create a welcome email for your people. You can do that too. So let's take a look at this seller welcome email. Let's say I want to use, utilize this one. So I click it here. And I'll see that it says, hi, first name, welcome to White Picket Realty. You're now registered on our website. Find Houston area home listings. 
We'll contact you shortly and you can see, you can read through here. It tells them to download the app so that it's already there. And any of these templates are there for you to use. So don't be afraid to use them. Now here's one, here's a holiday greeting. This one was back in during the holidays, I showed people how to utilize this one. So the first thing that you want to do when you see a template in here that you like. So for example, I really want to utilize this buyer seller login assistance, or I want to utilize this holiday greeting. And this is where the newsletter will be located. So you'll come in here and you'll find a newsletter and we'll go into detail on that next week. But what you want to do is you want to go here to copy template. And when you copy that template, it's now going to appear here under your uncategorized. You see, I've got holiday greeting, copy, holiday greeting, copy. This is the one that I copied back in December. You see the dates here. This one was from December when I was showing you guys, and this one is from this month. Once you've copied it, you can come in here. You can edit whatever it is that you'd like to edit. You can do whatever you want in terms of editing it. And you can also label it, is it for buyers? Is it for sellers? Is it for both people to make it easy to find later? And if you want to see what's it going to look like once I edit it, you can click the preview and it'll show you exactly what that's going to look like once you've edited it. You want to send it to yourself, you can click send test. It'll send it to your email. You'll go into your email and you can find that. But now you're thinking, okay, well, great. I've got my email template. I've got it copied. You can change the name. You can take off this copy up here. You can even create email template groups if you'd like. You can change the subject. You can do whatever you like. It's your template to work off of now. And then once you have your template, you can go to your actual leads. And let's say here I've got all my leads. Let's uh, go on here and I want to only see my leads. So I've got my leads on here. And for some reason, oh, that's why. I've got my leads on here now. And let's say I come in here and I, I want to click here and I want to start sending that email template to some of my leads. So I'll come in here and I'm going to pick 10 of my people. Now I could select them all if I wanted to. I can go on here and I can click select all. Current page, current search. I'm going to select the current page. That's going to put 25 people on this list mass actions, send email to select it. So I'm going to click send email. You see it says 25 recipients and right here where it says template, I can now come in here, select that copy of that holiday greeting and boom, it's right here for me to see. Now you may not be able to see it because it's got my video here in the corner, but it's got the template there. It's the exact same template. I can preview it just like I did before, just to make sure I'm happy with what's being sent to all of my clients. And then once I decide, all I have to do is click send. This process should take you no more than about five to 10 minutes. And if you're really sorting out your list, 25 to 30 minutes at the most. So what I'd like for you to do today, go in there, find a template, make a copy, edit it however it is that you'd like to edit it, and then send it out to a few of your people. That way you're already prepared for when it comes to be next week. And next week we want to talk about how to send out the actual official newsletter to everyone in your database. You'll be ready. You'll be prepared for it. Thanks so much, guys. I hope that this was very, very helpful. And I hope that setting these goals was helpful and that your RSP meetings today were amazing. I'll see you guys next week with a newsletter template. Take care.